So in this video, I'll show you the steps, how to go from this URL, so the default Shopify URL, to your own domain or to a subdomain, something like this shop dot and then your domain name. And I also answer some common questions such as what if you already have multiple C name records, should you delete them? If you don't know what C name records are, don't worry. And then the second question, what should you do if the record name, for example, www conflicts with another record? So I'll answer some commonly questions too around this topic. So once you're logged in into your Shopify store, we're going to go to settings and then we're going to click on domains. And then over here, we have the option to buy a new domain or connect an existing domain. So if you don't have a domain yet, you can buy one directly through Shopify when clicking on buy a new domain. And this might change in the future, but as of now, a .com domain on Shopify costs about $16. So as you can see, this is an example, $16 per year. But you can also purchase a domain over at hostinger.com. So that's where I purchased my domain. So you get a discount for the first year, but then then it's a little bit more expensive than over at Shopify. But if you already have a domain, which probably most of you have, you're going to click on connect existing domain. And now you have two options. You have to decide between option number one, connect it to a root domain. And here you can see an example of a root domain, which is example.com or option number two, which is connecting it to a subdomain. And here you can see that example. So shop.example.com. So that's why it's called a subdomain. So this is the sub part of the domain. So you have to choose between either one of those two options. So for example, this is my Dutch online dog training business where I sell books and courses through Shopify, but the root domain, so this is the root domain, it is hosted on WordPress. If we go to the Shopify domain, if we click on the books over here, now it redirects to the subdomain, which is this part over here, and this is hosted on Shopify. So the process of connecting a root domain is a little bit different than connecting a subdomain domain, but I'll show you both ways, starting with the root domain. So first step, we have to enter our domain. So as an example, I'm going to use this domain, robinsnewsletter.com. I'm going to click on next. So my domain is hosted at Hostinger. So the steps I will show you in a bit might look a little bit different if your host is, for example, GoDaddy or Bluehost or another provider. But the main goal is to access your DNS settings. So I'm now logged in into Hostinger and you have to go to domains and then you're going to find the DNS tab. It's the same thing with GoDaddy, Bluehost, find your domain and then find that DNS tab or name service tab. Now we just have to follow these two steps. So step two and step three in order to connect our so-called root domain to Shopify. So I'm going to start with step number two and we have to add some DNS records to our domain. So first it says the type, which is CAA. So I'm going to go to Hostinger and I'm going to go to type over here and I'm going to select that type name, which is CAA. Then we're going to go back to Shopify. So for the name, we have to use this symbol. I'm going to go back to Hostinger. It's already there, the symbol. So we don't have to change anything. So for flag, we're going to use zero. So for tag, we're going to choose issue. And then for CA domain, we're going to copy the Shopify value. So I'm going to copy this value. I'm going to enter it here. I'm going to click on add a record. Then the second one, I'm going to copy this value here. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to choose CAA for flag zero, tag issue and domain SSL.com. I'm going to click on add records. And then we have to update these existing records. So not the new records, but existing records. And here's an important thing to keep in mind. I currently have a website on robinsnewsletter.com. If I update these current values to these values, the website I have on this domain will disappear and Shopify will become the new website. So you have to keep that in mind. If you have a current website on your root domain and you want to keep that domain, you should not override these records. Instead, you should use a subdomain. If you want to showcase Shopify on your root domain, you can update these values to showcase Shopify on that root domain. Anyway, you have to find this record. So I'm going to copy this current value. I'm going to click Ctrl F to find it. As you can see, there are three records using these numbers, but there is only one using these exact values because for the name, we have to find this value here. You have to update it to this new IP. I'm going to copy it. You're going to change this to the new value and you 
I'm gonna click on update. So I will not do that because I do not want to change my root domain. So I'm gonna click on cancel. Then we have to find the second one. I'm gonna copy these four AAs. I'm gonna use the control F again. So we have two records. So this one, but this one says test as the name and we have to find the other one. So this one with this value here. So we're gonna click on edit. So we have to tweak this value with the new value. I'm going to copy it again. So we have to remove it and we're going to add the new value. And then you're going to click on update. Again, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to click on cancel because I do not want to tweak my root domain. And then the last one over here, we're going to copy the C name. So there are eight records with C name. So it's a little bit harder to find. Uh, it's this one, as you can see. So C name, www. We have to click on edit. So the current value is this. So we have to tweak it to this. So we have to click on copy and change the target to this. You're going to click on update. Again, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to click on cancel. So once you've updated your DNS records, you're going to click on I updated DNS records. And then if you updated the DNS records correctly, it should show that it is working now. So I will now show you how to connect a subdomain. So the process is pretty similar. I'm first going to delete this domain. So the root domain, I'm going to delete it because we're not going to use that. I'm going to delete the domain. I'm going to click on remove. I'm going to remove this one too. And I'm going to say delete domain. So I'm going to click on connect existing domain. So as an example, I'm going to use store.robinsnewsletter.com. I'm going to click on next. So now we have to log in to Hostinger again. I'm already logged in and we have to add this new DNS record. So we have to add a C name. So we're going to add a new record. I'm going to go to C name. So for the name, which is the subdomain part, this is store. So I'm going to remove this value and I'm going to add store. And then for the target, I'm going to copy this. This is the target and I'm going to click on add a record. So now we added the record successfully. I'm going to click on I updated the DNS records. So it already says DNS records are pointing to Shopify. So this might take a few minutes. So domain is live in four regions. It went from one to four. Four. So it's still not fully ready, but if we click on view right now, you can already see we're accessing the store using this new URL. Now, if we go back to domains, if we click here, and if we click on the old domain, so if we click here on the old domain, and if we copy this old domain, you can see it redirects to the new URL. So I'm entering the old URL in the browser. I'm gonna click on enter. And now as you can see, it redirects to the new URL. So it might take a few minutes before it properly works. So if we try it in an incognito window, and if we enter the old URL here, and if we click enter, you can see it properly redirects to the new URL. So then lastly, those two questions. I already answer it, I think. But what if you have multiple CNAME records? Do you delete them or what should you do? And what should you do if the record name, for example, www conflicts with another record? So you can just pause the screen here and read it yourself. And by the way, you can also request access to this document. This is part of my free Shopify course. If you go to robinsnewsletter.com and if you enter your email address here, you immediately get access to the free Shopify course.